Let's see what we have. Inquisitor. Have to make sure it's cleared up. How you doing? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. And you're a spy? Close. I am now, I suppose. But that's not how I started. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me, trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. You seem like the type who enjoys a good fight. There's a good fight, and there's finding out who put rat poison in the bread and killed a bunch of children. I hunted down a lot of rebels, lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashar. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. Obviously, you made it out alive. I wasn't sure I would, but I honestly didn't care at that point. I just couldn't keep fighting that fight. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlais, ostensibly as a Talvashoth, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. That's, uh... Damn. You did ask. Anyway, nice talking with you. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. You want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. I was under the impression that you were just sending reports. Yeah, so was I. The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. That would be an unprecedented offer, if I believed it was legitimate, which I don't. Now, ordinarily, that would be the way to go, but they've identified themselves. They're not running a game on you. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Canari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. 
We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right. Our Kunari contact should be here to meet us. Good. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Doing good work. It's so nice to hear friends say good things about me in their secret spy report. Yes. One free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. Arguing about the war between your two nations is... I'm not... We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out... Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into... Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> Be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kuhn for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure you reflect. Just hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. Vince up ahead! Don't let them warn the others!
You must wish you were back in Devinter, Mage. No soldiers to guard you here, no slaves to wait on you. It's the lack of fashion that really strikes fear into my heart. You know nothing of fear. And do you intend to teach me? No. You serve the Inquisition, and the Ben Hasrath wish an alliance. For now, that is enough. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. Nice one. Crap. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? His name is Iron Bull. I suppose it... Get out of range. Won't be long now. Bull, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. I'm proud of you, Paul. <laughs> 
Thanks, boss. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How did the Chargers come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. The Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the Chargers tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. Controlled space. Help. Oh, Grey Warden, what have you done? You wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ugh. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrat? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. Tell Cullen and Liliana what happened. We'll tighten security. Will do, boss. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. Stop following me. I haven't taken a step. Yet here you are. I was still running today. Excellent. Did you find what you need, Inquisitor? Ah, <sighs> I found that and then some, believe me. Then all that remains is to find Corythius before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys to... did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late.
tell me, where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As you wish. I knew it ends here, Corypheus. I'm so. Successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are a thief in the wrong place at the wrong time an interloper a gnat We shall prove here once and for all which of us is worthy of Godhood You're not proving anything by talking Dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. I shall steer you from the very heavens. Feel my wrath. Enough! I will destroy you where you stand. Look at you, wearing slave markings on your face with pride. You are nothing! A race of sniveling cowards. I, I shall dare you to from the very power. heavens.
feel my wrath.
Did you find what you need, Inquisitor? That... We... It... Oh... Inquisitor, we have no for... We shall prove here, one son for all. A dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. Enough, I will destroy you where you stand. an avatar of divinity. Look at you, wearing slave markings on your face with pride. You are nothing, a race of sniveling cowards that shrank before defeat our power. If you desire death, you shall have it. Feel my wrath, little wretch.
to come Enough. now. Enough! I will destroy you. You shall be slaughtered you like your down. namesake. <laughs> Big threats. Let's see you back them up. Enough! I will destroy you where you stand. Feel my wrath. Enough! I will destroy you where you stand. to touch an avatar of divinity. You dare to touch an avatar of divinity. If you desire death, you shall have it.
Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! He's getting bigger! He's really doing it. We have to stop him. have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus, the orb. Corypheus is dead. That's the important thing. Yet so much has been lost. Inquisitor, are you alive? Then it's over. How lovely. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now?
go back to Skyhold. A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Why would he just leave? Something must be wrong. You said he was upset about the orb. I can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. <laughs> oh, now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven. It seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. I'm glad to hear it. There's still work to be done. For once, I'm willing to leave it till tomorrow. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. 
I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. Right now I'm thinking, this shit is weird, the Inquisitor Lavellan story. It's a working title. Maybe you should keep working. I'll leave the title for last. Naming things is always the worst. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. They're all happy. There's still fear. But you helped them all. You healed what was hurt. They don't want to forget what happened. Even if it gives them nightmares. It would hurt less, but it matters to them. There are a few parts I wouldn't mind forgetting. All right. Cole, wait. <laughs> it was a joke. You like those, sometimes. To make the fear seem smaller? I, I think I could return to the Fade if I tried. I'm light enough to slip through. But I'd like to stay and help for a while, if that's all right. I can still help people here. It'll be interesting to see what comes next. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for... You know, everything ever again. I mean... Is this for us, or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there, and I still don't know what's real. What do you think, Sarah? Like you said, you were there. I think... I think that if the Maker was helping, it shouldn't have been so frigging hard. Seems like the only thing we can count on is other people. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? You'd listen if I said leave. What do you think? All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning! Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to... <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. How was that good in any way, Bull? We all walked away. Chantry folk are picking up what's left of Corypheus with a dustpan and a pastry scraper. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hathrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Good luck. Wherever you end up, they'll be lucky to have you. I think I'm good right here. For now. The best fights always seem to find you. If I left, I'd just get jealous hearing about all the great shit I was missing. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry. Build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. I wasn't sure we'd make it either. A rather bizarre feeling. As if we've stumbled blindly into a forbidden future. Better than the future the Envy Demon showed us. Much better. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. To make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I remain free to serve the Inquisition, if you require me. It's odd, isn't it? I was almost certain the Maker was playing some cosmic joke on me, 
on us all. Yet you are exactly what we needed. No matter what comes next, I will remember that. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I'm not in the mood for cake. What are you in the mood for then? Wine? Perhaps something stronger? Come, this celebration is in your honor. Take some time, indulge. You deserve it. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valvoyor to organize the Loyalist Mages. Our new Emperor requires my expertise during what is certain to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I should be out in the field. You are better suited to a battlefield than a ballroom, my dear. But fear not. You'll be out again soon enough. Go mingle. The night is still young. Oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. If I told you the port was a little dry, would you burst into flame? You're joking, yes? Please tell me you're joking. Oh, what a disaster. So many was late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... And it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Vedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. Are you descending into open boasting, Lady Montivier? I can scarcely think of a better time. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. <laughs> Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. I appreciate everything you've done for us. So you should. Being appreciated is a nice change of pace, though. I'm also pleased to come out of it alive. I wasn't expecting that. You thought you'd die? Didn't you? The hero dies in all the best stories. Anything else just sounds so implausible. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Devinta lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. 
He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlais, where Gaspar has ascended to the Golden Throne. His rule continues only so long as he bows to the will of Rihanna, the first elf to be granted titles and land. Soon, new rights are granted to elves throughout the land. Plans are made to tear down alienage walls. The Emperor chafes under her command but can do nothing. Even as an alliance of nobles considers open rebellion, they hesitate only because they fear the alliance between Briala and the Elven Inquisitor, and perhaps also because they yet respect the Inquisition. For now, the Empire remains at peace. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something? far worse. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. Her response is as swift as it is deadly. Unity is maintained, but blood runs through the halls of the Grand Cathedral. Those Templars of the Inquisition who were recruited at Therenfall Redoubt are left with a choice. In the end, they unanimously elect to remain. The old Templar Order is formally disbanded. Under the watchful eye of Commander Cullen, these men and women form the core of the Inquisition's strength for years to come. And what of the Inquisition itself? It has eyes and ears in every hall. No secrets are beyond its reach, and that knowledge has become the source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. I knew you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. 
The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well, old friend. Frightening thought. A divine with enough spies to know how often you piss. It will be difficult to return to Devinter after all this, and leaving you most difficult of all. I'd almost rather let the Imperium rot. Such is my lot. Just a little longer, then. What's to come, I wonder? My guess, a plague of bees. What's to come, I wonder? My guess.